A gaming computer with a hefty price tag and powerful specs. Does it live up to the hype and is it worth it? I'm Callie Lewis. This is Geek Beat's review of the second gen Razer Blade gaming laptop. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Audible. Today we're going to take a look at the second gen Razer Blade gaming laptop. Ken, our resident gamer, has put it through its paces. Now, before we get started, this is the 2012 17-inch model. There is a newer version out that's smaller, 14-inch, and it's all SSD instead of a hybrid drive. But other than that, it's a pretty similar device. For his full written review and pictures, go to geekbeat.tv slash razorblade. Generally speaking, laptops have gotten smaller, more lightweight, and less expensive. Though they do have better battery life, the decrease in performance specs leaves gamers feeling like they're getting a raw deal. But the Razer Blade is all about giving gamers what you want. Raw horsepower in a portable device. The performance on this computer tops anything in the market, but it does sacrifice battery life. First, the guts. They upgraded the Razer Blade line to a 2.2 GHz Intel Core i7-3632QM, and it uses a Kepler GeForce GTX 660M GPU. You get 8 gigs of RAM, built-in Wi-Fi, and gigabit, as well as a 500 gigabyte hybrid drive with 64 gigabytes SSD cache. The SSD will store recent and most often used data, like your favorite games, for example. On the outside, you have three USB 3.0 ports, a webcam, an HDMI port, and a 17.3 LED screen. All the ports on the left side to leave the right side open for venting all that heat you're gonna be putting out while gunning down your opponents. Now, it does not have a DVD drive, but do you really want that? I mean, the extra width and the extra weight. These days, you can get everything you want online. It's only 0.8 inches thick, but weighs 6.6 pounds, so it's pretty heavy, but it's better than carrying around your tower, right? <laughs> Boot times are fantastic, and after the initial load of a game, you're gonna be able to open and get to playing quickly. You'll get about an hour of battery life, maybe a bit more if you're playing hard nonstop, so I'd suggest being plugged in if you can. It'll get hot, but it does a pretty good job at dissipating the heat for the small form factor it has. There's no doubt about it, this is a beautifully designed laptop. One of the features that contributes to the design is the LCD screen glass trackpad. Use it as a regular mouse, though no gamer would do that, or more likely, use the Switchblade software to assign the buttons to do certain things, like open particular apps, games, even a clock. You'll wind up using it as a second screen. It has a lot of potential there. So to answer the question, is it worth it? Well, that depends on your budget tolerance. At $2,500, it's one of the more expensive gaming laptops you'll look at, but the performance is stellar, which is what you want in a gaming laptop, and it's filling a somewhat forgotten space when it comes to these devices. And I'll mention it one more time, the design is awesome. From the outside of the box to the colored USB ports, they took great care to make it something you're proud to carry around. And when you're not on your laptop playing your favorite games, you should listen to Fun Inc. Why gaming will dominate the 21st century on Audible. Perhaps it'll give you some good debating points when your friends or family ask you why you spend so much time on that darn computer. And you can listen for free by going to audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat for your free credit and trial. So what do you think? Does it sound like something for your gaming lifestyle? Why or why not? Leave a comment below and don't forget to read Ken's full review at geekbeat.tv slash razorblade. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. For Ken's full... <laughs> I'm trying to say your name right. And you start doing it. And it's screwing me up. Look at, but the performance is stellar, which is what... Game... <laughs>